What is up, everybody? Back with the collection update here today. Got a lot of really cool stuff to show. A vinyl record, a shirt, two CDs, and nine movies, which eight of them are DVDs and one of them's a Blu-ray. So uh, first thing up is this really cool shirt I'm wearing sent to me by Leather Leone. Uh, very cool design there. And Leather, of course, is super cool. I interviewed her a couple weeks ago on the channel. Great singer. She's on those first five Chastain albums, which are all great. Uh, has a couple of really good solo albums, including this one from 2018, which she sent me. Uh, on vinyl which is really cool great stuff here her voice still sounds awesome just highly recommend this if you're into classic metal got a really cool like red um disc as well very nice uh, super cool of her to send that so big thanks to her um next up i'll go with the cds so first one i actually did show yesterday is this megadeth warheads on foreheads compilation as I said before, it's not really necessary for them to like put this out at this point because they've got multiple compilations that were already out previous to this. But I mean, it's pretty cool to have, I guess. I'm a collector, so of course I'm gonna get it. Opens up, got three discs there. Uh, pretty cool designs and whatever, but uh, there is actually songs from every single album, which is cool, 35 total songs. Uh, but yeah, picked that up yesterday. And the other CD I got is uh, the Iced Earth demo from 1989, Enter the Realm. They put it back out 30 years later for like the 30th anniversary thing. Pretty good stuff. Um, cool to have. So there's that. And okay, so with the, the movies, I've got seven Halloween movies and two Texas Chainsaws. The reason I picked these up is because at some point I want to maybe rank some horror franchises and Halloween and Texas Chainsaw are some of my favorites. So I wanted something to show if I'm going to do that. But don't have all of them, but I'm going to go in chronological order with what I do have. First one is Halloween 2 from 1981. Now, of course, this is a sequel to the 1978 original movie. Basically picks up where it left off, and they're in a hospital. Of course, Michael Myers, like, raises from the dead. He always does. And uh, he goes stalking everybody in the hospital. He's trying to kill Laurie, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, Loomis is there. Donald Pleasance. But cool stuff. I dig this one quite a bit. Um... Did have this. I got all this stuff at FYE, by the way, and I didn't say the CD selection there is trash now. It's it was the first time I'd been in like several years. Used to have a decent CD selection. Now it's like tiny, one little shelf, and it was like half empty. So I was like, what the shit? And drove like 45 minutes for nothing. But I actually did find a bunch of cool DVDs. So there's that. Um, this one here, Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. This one is just weird, of course. Michael Myers isn't there. How are you going to have Halloween without Michael Myers? Are you going to make a Friday the 13th without freaking Jason? No. But uh, they tried this here. No Michael Myers. I'm sure it's got a cult following or something. I'm sure people like it. But for me, uh, nah, not too into it. I haven't seen it in a few years. So maybe I might like it better now. But from what I remember, it was pretty dumb. The only cool thing is, that I like from it is that Halloween used the little music from this movie on their debut album on the first song Starlight which was kind of cool and then it transitioned into the song um, but yeah that movie not too great Halloween 4 is the next one the return of Michael Myers so this is when he came back after they had like five-year break between the movies or whatever it was this came out in 88 I think you got Daniel Harris who is the little girl who is uh, Michael Myers niece and of course Michael's coming to try to kill her and he ends up killing like everybody around her and she has visions of stuff like he sees him or she sees him doing stuff but uh, it's pretty cool i like this one and the follow-up which i didn't get on dvd but uh, the next movie the revenge of michael myers i think is what it's called halloween 5 she's in both of those she's in the uh, rob zombie remakes which is cool that they brought her back for a role like 20 years after this uh, but uh, yeah that's a pretty good movie and then jumping all the way up to halloween resurrection was the uh, next one I was able to get, this one came out in 2002, which it's called Resurrection because uh, the one before this was H2O 20 years later. And at the end of the movie, which doesn't really make sense how they could keep on going with the series, but they got to make money, you know, um, 1998 was that one. And at the end of the movie, Jamie Lee Curtis cut off Michael Myers head. Like, sorry if I'm spoiling it, if you haven't seen the movies, but basically at the end of H2O, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is driving Michael Myers, who it looks like he's dead just in the back seat. She's trying to drive him out somewhere to cut his head off or whatever, but then they crash and, um, he's basically, they crash and at the end of the movie, he's pinned up against a tree and the car is on top of him. So he can't move. And he's just sitting there like this and she just swings the ax, cuts his head off. You see it rolling. So you think this, the series is done, but nope, they come back a few years later with this. They always come back. 
This one, uh, basically, they're just in a house, which is the house I think Michael Myers grew up in. And they're going to see if they can survive the knife. But, of course, Michael Myers is in there, just starts killing everybody. So that one's decent. And um, here, Halloween, the Rob Zombie one from 2007. Don't think, this isn't the original cover, but uh, it's kind of a cool collector's thing, it says. Very sturdy freaking DVD case here. Got two discs. Uh, pretty cool to have, I'd say. Yeah, just cool stuff. And I actually like this one quite a bit. It's got more of a backstory at the beginning showing like what Michael Myers went through as a kid. Uh, not that there's any excuse for this man to go on a rampage killing everybody, but he was bullied and stuff. And then he killed, killed some animals or something like a cat. And then he like killed his bully in the woods with a stick. And then it kind of goes on to where he kills his sister and whatever else. But this is cool, super brutal compared to some of the other ones. But uh, yeah, that's cool to have. And I also got the Halloween 2 Rob Zombie uh, follow-up to that one. Came out a couple years later. This one was pretty good as well. Not as good as the first Rob Zombie one, but this one's pretty cool. And the 2018 Halloween movie, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is back for this one. And they're actually making another one, which was supposed to come out at the end of this year. And then another one next year around Halloween. So they're just going to keep going forever, man. What the heck? But uh, yeah, this one's pretty good. It's all in the theaters. Of course, they like freaking burned. They, I think they locked Michael Myers in the basement or something of this one and like set the house on fire. But somehow he's going to get out. He always gets out, always comes back. And um, the other two movies I have are Texas Chainsaw, which I am a pretty big fan of as well. Um, first one I was able to get is the 2003 remake of the original. Cool stuff. Um, Jessica Biel is like the main role, which is cool. And um, yeah, I like this one a pretty good bit. Uh, possibly my favorite. I don't know. I'll save it for the ranking. And then this one, the 2013, I think it came out, Texas Chainsaw. Uh, this one is pretty interesting. Basically, at the beginning of the movie, they show like the whole town going out to the Sawyer house. And um, they end up like burning the house down and killing most of the people there. But of course, Leatherface, old Jed, gets out of there. He freaking, again, eludes death all the time somehow but he gets out and there's a baby that um some of the people that were like burning the house down ended up killing her mom and kept the baby and raised it as their own and um basically fast forward 20 years later and she gets a letter saying that her grandma just died because she didn't know she was like adopted and she is in the will inherits the house so she goes out there to the house and of course freaking leatherface living in the basement starts killing everybody but then at the end of the movie, Leatherface finds out that that's her, or his cousin. So he doesn't kill her, and then they go back to the house. Kind of leaves it open for a sequel, but never been a sequel. This is the most recent. Actually, no, there was a sequel. There was, um, it's kind of a prequel, actually. It was called Leatherface. Came out a few years back, which honestly I don't like too much. Uh, it kind of shows what happened like beforehand leading up to what made Leatherface like a psycho killer. But uh, this one is the last one that I really liked, is what I'll say. But, uh, yeah, so that is the collection update for today. And, um, as usual, thank y'all for watching. Till next time.